Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And I have been shopping. Oh my glory. You can probably see in here a little bit. I have my bag. We're going to go through and I can't wait to show you what I have picked up at Craft Bits and Pieces. I took, a, I took that whole bag filled with stuff there and donated a whole bunch of things. I had mostly, uh, I had some plastic canvas I had that was my mom's. I had um, the fabric that I was getting rid of that I had bought before. I, there's a video about that. I'll put that link down below. There, I took a whole bunch of, I went through all my 12 by 12 paper packs and I had several that I had duplicates of. And if I know that I'm not going to use them, they went. So while I was there, this was the only stamp set that I got. And they were running a special, buy one stamp, get one half off. I didn't buy a second stamp. I didn't see anything else that I really wanted. But this has the dyes and the feathers, and I thought that would be kind of cool. It's I th think it's the most expensive thing I bought. It was $6. This one, this one cost me a little bit. For a buck and a quarter a piece, I got some very cool embossing stamps that I don't know if you can see the, what it what it is, but that's an edge. These are some all over flowers. This is an all over pattern with birds on it, and I really liked that. And then this is also an all over flowers, but it's different from these all over flowers. But these and these kind of go together. Now they're all cut. This one's Sizzix. These two are Cuddlebug. And this one is Lifestyle Crafts. So they're all from different places. They're all small ones. I didn't have any nice big ones. But that's okay. Those will be fun to use. The other piece that I got, uh, the other die cut that I got is this one. And it does that kind of an edge and this kind of an edge. This was $2.95, and I thought that would be kind of fun to play with. For $0.75, cents, I bought envelopes because these just look cool. So let's open up the envelope, take off the tape, set that over there, and let's see what we have. I think I can get them out this side. It's stapled, but I think they'll come out here. So what do we have? We have a, a blue one. Oh, they all have that kind of pattern on them, except for this one, which is plain. But that looks like a lot of fun to play with. And so those will be showing up in my journals. Okay, what else do I have here? These, I'm very excited to look at these. This was 50 cents, and I think they're just ephemera cards. But I liked, yeah, they're just little cards. They're a chipboard. So they're pretty hefty. Oh, those would be really nice to just kind of slide into journals to put into pockets. Okay, I'm very pleased with those. That was 50 cents for those. I'm going to put my bags over here. For 75 cents, I got some charms. I'm sure this was a necklace that got broken up and I thought those would make really pretty dangles on my Christmas journals because I don't have any red anything for my Christmas journals. So those are going to be for that. All right. I picked up uh, some washi tape. This was a quarter. There's one, two, three, four, five pieces of washi tape that look barely or at hardly ever used. This was also a quarter, and this was in the Christmas bin, and I thought, I like that. I, You know, I'm always looking for a little more Christmas washi. So those were the two washies I got, so I spent 50 cents there on those two together. These were 50 cents a piece, and I loved that she put them in a separate bag. She said, just in case they leak, they did not leak. But I bought, um, what do I have here? Berry wine, yellow ochre, and metallic blue pearl. So I'm, these two have not even been opened yet. So they're, com they're completely full, and they were 50 cents a piece. You can't go wrong at 50 cents a piece. This one feels like it's about half full. So I got that much. 
Uh, what else do I have here? Just checking. Okay. I got it. I knew I had a couple, another bag of stuff. These are just eyelets, and there is an eyelet setter in here. I don't know that I'll use the eyelet setter or if I'll just do it with the, um, the crocodile, but um, I can always use eyelets, and I don't have any that size. And then I got this piece, and I, let me find a piece of paper here. I'm going to fold it so that I have a corner because this is for corners. It was 95 cents. You put the corner in here like that and it makes that corner for the edges. Okay, that's not very much. Because, here, let me, let me find a better piece of paper because I really want to see what that looks like. Here we go. So I have this and if we cut there and we cut there. Now, look at that. Isn't that cool? Ow. Get it stuck on my thumb. So it makes corners like that. And I thought that was really nifty. Picked up. So, okay, these are some cool charms. And uh, let's see what's in there. Let's open it up. It, these were a dollar and a quarter for the charms. Did a whole bunch of charms this time through, and I could have gotten more, but a lot of them were sports. Looked like somebody had a basketball thing that had, or baseball thing. So there's a little present there, which I think will be cool for Christmas. A key, a rose, a spool, and I don't know what that is. Just something pretty. Oh, there, you flip it over. I still don't know what it is. No, nope, no idea what it is, but it's pretty. So I have some charms. And then I bought this bag. Now, okay, you're going to think, I really, I almost didn't. I, I picked it up, I put it down, I picked it up, I put it down. They're stones. And they have the holes in them. So I think this was a necklace at one point. I kind of am thinking I might put it together as a necklace again because this is the type of necklace if I'm going to wear a necklace this is tends to be what it is but I also thought those would be really pretty to go with um on as dangles. order an entire roll uh, I don't know how much this is but it's a really pretty lavender lace and I have no lavender laces so I will be taking that off of here and putting it onto my other things in a little while. Because. Stick with me on this one. Um, if you, if you want to be done at this point, that's fine. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the like button to let YouTube know. Tell me of what you've seen so far. What is your favorite? What did you enjoy? I have all of these. I have the, the embossing folders and the die cuts. I have envelopes and charms, and I have eyelets, and I have paint, and I have these really cute cards, and I have stones, and I have a corner cutter, and I have, I don't know, uh, beads, and I have lace, and I have washi tape. That's what I've gone through so far. Let me know what of that you enjoyed and because we're going to move on to something else completely different. Now I'm clearing my place so I have lots of space. Because I bought for a dollar and a dollar ninety-five, so less than two dollars, a bag of lace. But they had this one, and that has yellow in it, and I didn't have that one. That was also a dollar ninety-five. And then I thought, well, this is pretty. I like the pink out of here, and I really like that white, so I bought that lace. And then they had a bag, another bag of multi-lace of all these different colors, and so I bought that lace. Oh, my glory. I bought four bags of lace. You know how I store my laces. Let me grab one. In these... With the cards, I'll put a link down below as to how this comes together. Um, 
but know that you don't have to have it in these kinds of drawers. Any long skinny will work beautifully for holding these. In fact, I have, let me grab this out quick. I have one of, I, this was from Walmart, and the playing card spools and the toilet paper rolls fit in there just fine as well. So you don't have to have a drawer. This is a drawer from a sewing machine. You don't have to have the sewing machine drawer in order to store these. I just like it like this. I like this kind of setup because then I can see what I have and it makes it easier. I could also put the spools in here if I wanted, don't want to take it off of the spools. So when I do this, I could just put it in my uh, drawer just like this if I want to. Uh, I'm not sure if I will or not. I haven't quite dis decided with that one. But, okay, I don't know if I'll go through all of these on camera, but I'll put a link down below with bag one, bag two, bag three, and bag four. So if you want to skip ahead at any point, you can. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm going to grab that paper again here so you can see it. That's a nice wide lace. That'll be good for covers, but there's a lot of it. Um, I'm also, if you are interested in any of these, if you say, you know what, you've got a really lot, uh, you've got a lot of that, make sure you, I would like some. Um, I'm happy to, you know, give some away. So that's Pretty Little Hearts on that one. What is this one? Oh, that's just really, here, let me flip it over because now we're into the lighter colors and it's harder to see. Oh, that's pretty. That's just a nice little acru color. Here's more uh, acru. Oh, there's two. I've got two of them here. A different design. This is a little stiffer. That one might need to be ironed. Uh, let me find the end on this. I can't find Where's an end? There's guy. There's an end. So I can see what it does. Oh, that's pretty. That'll be really nice on tags and page edges. Okay. So what else is in here? This is a wide lace. Also in the off-white color. This I thought looked interesting. This is actually navy blue. I don't know if the navy blue is coming out on the camera or not. Um, it It is a navy blue and white. That'll be cool in a, a journal. I'm not going to try to take... Oh, this looks very similar. I might have one something like this already, but that's okay. That's like a lingerie lace. I'm going to use it anyway at some point. Here's We've got some eyelet. That might be nice in the Christmas journals. We're going to save that one aside and put that for Christmas journals along with the red because I don't have very much red so it'll be nice to have the red. I'm trying to see if there's hearts on it. No, good. No hearts, just a pretty design. There's flowers and I suppose leaves. Good. We'll put that with Christmas stuff. There's pinks. That would be a nice spring journal. That one's very, very frilly. This one's very ruffly. That would be like a on a nightgown. Ooh, some more eyelet. Now, just so you know, if you ever don't want the, the puffiness, you know how it's uh, like tucked on here, you can take, well, this one is folded over, so that one's a little bit different. But on a lot of these, like this one, you can take this top piece off. So you would end up, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but that comes off and so you end up with two pieces. So you'd end up with a bottom piece and a top piece that isn't ruffled, it would be flatter and so you could use it a couple different ways. But there's that, oh look at this. This is sparkly. This is really pretty. And there's two pieces of it. There's not a lot of it, but there's two pieces of it. This is also a small piece. That's really pretty. 
Okay. Well, they're all pretty. What am I saying? They're all pretty. A little bit more of the blue eyelet. I need to find that. Do a blue and white journal. Definitely need to do a blue and white journal. Some more pink, but this is a different pink. Is that the same as the... Oh, no, that's the same as the other one. So I've got some more of that, and I have another piece of that. So there's quite a bit of that. That's another piece of the blue eyelet. And then just this little... And this is ruffled. If I wanted to do... If I wanted this to be a straight edge and not a ruffled edge, I would have to undo all of that stitching. So I would put... That would be a really pretty page edge. Just, you know, as it is. That's cool. And some more that could be used for Christmas. I'm doing that red and white journal. I'm thinking this might end up being as part of that red and white journal. Putting you over here with these. Okay, so that's bag one. Bag two. This is also multicolored. Okay, if I can get it open. There we go. Okay, bag two. What do we have here? Oh, that is rich. Look at this. Oh, yeah. That is really, really pretty. That's going to be like around the cover, the top of a journal. That'll be really pretty on the cover. I'm going to save that one kind of for Christmas. Okay, I am looking at doing at some point a jean journal. And so this is just a little flowered print. This looks like it might be handmade. Like somebody already put this together, put some lace on it. And that would be really cool in a jean journal that I'm thinking of doing. Okay, I don't know about... Oh, I see. Okay, I thought this was... This is, for some reason, inside a plastic case. It's called Wright's Trims, and it's already in there. And so uh, I guess that keeps it nice. That's a really pretty color. I was afraid it was hot pink for a bit. Some plain white. And there's a lot of that one. This is another thin one, and I don't see an end on this one. I'm gonna, there it is, I did find it. I like these little ones because these are perfect for a page edge, they're perfect for a topper on a journal card or a Oh, a tag. This is really nice for that sort of thing. There's another thin piece. This definitely is uh, underwear lace. <laughs> Little flowers. Okay, this is like anti-establishment green. So let's flip this over because those greens are going to clash. There we go. Find the end. Okay, and this has one of those borders that you can take off of it if you wanted to, if you didn't want, if you wanted it to be flatter. All right, I don't know that I'm ever going to use that bright green. We'll see. Okay, let's flip back over to our darker color. And we have some white. That's very pretty white. I'm trying to find the end of that white because this is a different white with flowers on it. I have so much lace. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is hand crocheted. Okay, that's going to be something special. That's a piece of hand crocheted work in the midst of all of these laces. That's hand crocheted lace. That'll go on a special journal. More white. That one's kind of scratchy. I wouldn't want that on my underwear. Okay, we have some more of this. Is this the same? Yep, it's the same as the other, even though it came out of a different bag. So we'll put that over there. We have some more uh, cream colored. I don't know who on earth ever got rid of all of their laces, but I'm kind of glad they did. Oh, these have snowflakes on them. These are, this will be perfect for Christmas. Although it looks like it, you know, it should be a little, um, Looks like it should be an apron for a little doll. It's a doll's apron. Ah, put that over there with the Christmas. Okay, this is some black. That's a really nice black. I need to do another goth journal. I know, how, today is, I'm actually filming this on Halloween, but I have not been much in a Halloween mood this year, and so I have been, I kind of skipped right over it and went right to Christmas. 
some more little flowers. We have some more browns. Finally getting back down to the colors. Okay, what do I have? Oh, I have two different browns here. Okay, so I have this brown, and I have this brown. Come on, let's open you up. See what you look like. And then, oh my glory, I have buried that other brown. Where it is? It's over here. And then this brown. So now I have some browns to play with. I didn't have brown before. All right, put those all over there. Some more red. This is a different red from before. Put that with the Christmas and a little bit more black. But this, is, oh, this is two different blacks and this one is very, very cool. This is almost like an applique. That's neat. And then this one is, uh, I don't know, I can't find the end, the other end. There we go. Got it. That's pretty. With like palms, palm trees. All right, that was number two. Bag three. You still with me? Or have you said, okay, I'm on lace overload. I can't keep looking at all these laces. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to, the other thing I'm going to have to do is now, you know, bundle these all up. Okay, this one is sort of, I'm not going to undo that whole thing. Some really pretty white lace. This is an un, just kind of shoved in there piece of lace. Uh, I think I, I'm almost positive this is the same lace that was in the other bag. That I've got some of that already. I really kind of got this one for this lace because it's a really pretty wide white lace. And I like to use this um, to, to cover up spines. When I do just a single signature journal, and I have uh, either the stitching showing or the staples showing, depending upon how I've put it together. I'd like to be able to put this over the top of it so that it covers those up and this kind of this thickness. So that's nice for that. There's another piece of it. This one is a very different style. I like that. That's a, it's almost an antique style. We have more of the thin lace. Oh, this has been cut off of something. So there's extra pieces on it, maybe, maybe, or maybe it's just wide. Okay, this one's going to definitely, no, this, oh yeah, it was cut off of something, because there's a corner piece. So this was cut off of probably, uh, I'm going to say maybe it was on a handkerchief or something. It's a big handkerchief, or a doily. It was big. There we go. So it was like that. All right. We'll play with that later. Another thin piece. I like those thin pieces. I like them all. Who am I kidding? And I'm going to tell you, I bought four bags. I left at least six bags sitting there. I did not buy every bag that they had. I was tempted. But I didn't do it. I was a good girl. Okay, this is wrapped around a piece of cardboard. And it looks like this. It's got the nice big holes in it. This is another piece. Ugh, come on. Oh, this is, there's a lot of this one. And it's unraveled and just kind of everywhere. Okay, so there's a lot of this one. Uh, and it has... Two different laces to it so it's a top lace and a bottom lace so if I ever decided gee I need some thin lace and you know I don't have enough so I could take that off and use that thin lace and then use the bottom for something else or I can leave it together there's certainly enough of that and then I have another piece of white that was bag three bag four are you, are you still with me Oh my glory, I can't believe I bought all this lace. I think I might have too much lace now. I might have to actually do something and I don't know. We'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just put some into the coffee shop and sell some of the, the laces. 
That's a really pretty tulip design. Oh, that's pretty. That would be nice down like as a belly band or in the middle of a, a topper. That's really pretty. I like that one. Let me know, would you be interested in purchasing any of this? I would not sell it for very much money because I paid, you know, you just saw me. I paid $2 for, well, $8 total for four bags of lace. So I'm not going to charge you a whole heck of a lot of money for these. Probably mostly just shipping, you know, whatever the postage is. But if you're interested in purchasing any, leave a comment below so that I know and I can, I'll put it up on the, the shop. Or I, you know, whatever. We'll figure it out. Okay, this is more... It's kind of like polka dots. That's a polka dotted lace. I have never seen a polka dotted lace before. Very cool. There's a little scrap. And this one, uh, this is one because it's so curved because of the... Um, you know, when you sew it, you sew it like this and then it makes it ruffled. But that makes it sometimes really hard when you're trying to put it into a journal to make it stay put. So I don't know. I might take that top off. I might leave it. This is a nice wide piece. There's a doll skirt. A veil. You know, all sorts of things. That's pretty. I think that might be the widest piece I have. This also looks hand done. Or hand crocheted. I don't think it is. I think it's machine done, but it has that same feel. It's definitely crocheted as opposed to some of these others, which are not crocheted. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I don't know which side is the, I think that's the right side. That's kind of got some texture to it. That's pretty. Some of these are very, very stiff, almost as if they have been um, starched, and some are beautifully soft. Okay, what do we got here? We got a mess. Let's see if we can separate out our mess. And some pretty flowers on that one. And this is just a small piece of the eyelet types. And this is... Oh, this one's kind of shiny. This one's got some gl glimmer to it. It's starting to get dark. I hope it's, I'm going to turn my light on. I hope that's not going to bother you too much. Um, but it, our weather is starting to change. This is pleated, but it is almost, I'll bet you, let me check. Let me move that up out of the way so I can see. Yep. This is eight and a half inches. That will be absolutely perfect just as it is as a page edge. I'm going to set that aside. Same here. Those will make nice page edges just as they are. So those will not be going in the shop. Those will be going into a journal. This is almost an eyelet lace. That's really pretty. Oh, here's another piece that's, this is like spirals. Okay. And okay. This is how much of a geek I am. I looked at this and the first thing I thought of was the Eye of Sauron. Yeah, if you don't know who the Eye of Sauron is, you haven't watched The Lord of the Rings. Definitely some eyelet lace. Okay, this one is multicolored. I don't know if the colors are going to show up. I hope they do on the computer screen. It is... Okay, this definitely needs to be ironed because it is all smooshed together. But that's really pretty. That's one that would make a really nice belly band. Okay, what do we have here? Some big flowers. They go this way. With that texture. It's the same texture as the one I just had. But it has, where's the one that I just had? Is it right there? Yeah, it's right there. It's not too far down. It's very, very similar to this one in texture, although the patterns are not the same. Uh, just a little bit of lace. That would be good as toppers. That's, again, pretty stiff stuff. 
get some rid of some of the extra little doodads. More flowers. They're all flowers. They're almost, they're, that's why I think I like that polka dot one because it's different. Some double flowers. What do we got here? Just some regular plain old Acru lace. But then look at this. This is really cool. I'm going to be doing a sunflower journal uh, fairly soon here. I'm starting, I've got most of my stuff together. That's going in the sunflower journal. I'm going to set that to the side. This is another small piece. Oh, there's more spirals. We'll have to find the other spirals and put that with the, with the spirals. Got this. Got this. Okay, what do I have here? I have a mishmash. Okay, this is... A, oh, more back to the polka dots. Different kind of polka dot, but those are polka dots with a scalloped edge. This particular piece is just a real pretty, and this one's nice and soft. It's just a real pretty flower, but this is the one that's caught my eye. Look at the tulips. Okay, those will be fun to use. I'm going to obviously need to do a spring journal soon here. That one's, I'm going to put that with the Christmas stuff because that's another one that's already pretty much pre-cut to the right size. Got this one. This is definitely underwear lace. Lingerie lace. Okay, and the one last piece. This is the one I bought this one for. This is yellow, and I don't know if it's showing up as yellow. There it is. You can see it a little bit better as yellow against the white. That's a very light, creamy yellow. That'll be really pretty to use, especially in this, both in the sunflower journal. Even though these are not sunflowers, it'll be pretty to put it in there. Um, but it'll also be pretty in a spring one. So, yeah. And then, of course, all the Christmas ones. So that's all my laces. I am going to be, you know what I'm going to be doing? I have some winding to do, some wrapping to do, uh, and I'm going to decide what of these will go up onto my Etsy shop. Um, I'll, I'll even note, I'll let everybody know uh, if I'm, what I'm selling and where I'm going to, how much I'm selling it for. Like I said, I'm thinking just postage, uh, plus maybe, you know, I don't know. A small fee, that much. I'm not looking to make money off of this. Um, I'm just looking not to lose money on it. All right. I hope you're having a great time. Uh, make sure you have hit the subscribe button. Make sure you have a bell clicked for notifications when the next video may come out. You're going to start seeing me using all of this stuff. That is such a bright green. Oh, my glory. That's like in-your-face green. Anti-establishment green. I want a dune buggy this color. I've always wanted... You asked me what kind of car I would really like. I'd like a dune buggy in this color. Anti-establishment green dune buggy. All right. I hope you're having a great time. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.